Hello, 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 everybody. It is Matt, and it is Scary Saturday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. All that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when you are here. I know I'm here an awful lot, but I have an awful lot on my plate to review. And one last little tidbit of information. Check out the description box. I give you a bigger bite of every single movie of every single day. Such as today, I give you your brief synopsis, your starring cast, director, runtime of the cut I am watching, a link for a trailer, and if you decide you can help or uh, you can watch it, uh, there's a link for to watch it, and if you help decide, you can support Matt's Movie Mania and toss me a couple of bucks. Sorry I stumbled over my words there for a moment, but that's okay. You guys got the gist of what I was trying to say. All right, now that we got all that on my, all that said and all that out of the way, let's roll on to the film of the day. And today's came out back in 2021, runs at about an hour and 33 minutes, including credits, which uh, if you watch through the credits, there is a little blooper at the very, very end, just as a heads up. Um, it is uh, directed by none other than Vinny Vineyard and Luke. Um, I can't remember your last name, Luke. Um, but anyways, um, it is uh, the 2021 film known as The Hike. What an interesting movie this is. Um, it's uh, got some uh, bizarre stuff going on. Like um, you're introduced to some characters and then you never see them again. Um, and then there's characters that are there, there and they, they have bigger scenes than they really should. But not to say anything negative or bad about the film. I really liked it in the long run, though. I thought it ran at a perfect run time. Um, all in all, it's, it's, it's a winner. But uh, what exactly is the hike about? <clears throat> well, it starts out with this couple going off on a uh, little bit of a trip, a uh, little hike. Um, they... Uh, um, kind of talk about how a little they very briefly talk about how the uh the girl in the relationship is part Cherokee um and th there's this has to do with a a um a Cherokee uh uh kind of cryptid or or mythos of a monster that uh, can come and get you and and lures you in uh with, with various uh tactics um, but uh, they, they, they're they going off in this hike. Um, they're sharing stories, such as there's a story about how he, uh, the boyfriend, uh, was buddies with a wrestler at one point and uh, convinced him to change his name to Bestiality without realizing he, what Bestiality really meant. Um, so it, 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 it was quite quite a chuckle there. Um, and, and, the the boyfriend, by the way, likes to, likes to flex that he's Baltimore tough, which is fun. I, I, I got a chuckle out of that, uh, as he's walking around with a pair of brass knuckles. Um, now, uh, they, as they're going along, they come across various, um, uh, characters. Like, there's one guy, um, who uh, is talking about how the Cherokee Nation is being ruined by all the uh, mixing of the uh, the um, uh, different gene pools and different um, ethnicities? Um, so it's it's sad, as he said, that the the Cherokee Nation is dying off. Um, I don't know how true that is, but um, I'm sure it could be true. You know, I mean, either way, that's that's not not my uh, ordeal that I tackle. I tackle movies, not political political stuff. But anyways, um, so it's uh, it's it's very interesting on that aspect. Um, they go back on their trip. Um, they're kind of weirded out by that guy, as anybody would be. You come across some dude chilling in the woods, and he's got uh, an injury on his knee, and and then he just up and disappears. It's really weird. Um, and then there's this other character who has a shaved head. Um, at one point gets tied up to a tree. Um, he's another one of those characters that um, 
really didn't need to exist in my opinion or if you were going to put him in the movie put him in before a lot of the other stuff happens so you get a little more build up um all in all I, I it's not a bad thing i'm not complaining about it um i just feel like those two characters could have just been completely written off and and you st you would have had still a, a great movie um and then eventually, this couple, they come across these three guys. Um, all the while, they've been picking up these Polaroids of, of naked girls um, in various uh, uh, ways, uh, like, um, in, like they've been murdered in that fashion. Uh, they eventually come across a camera, camera bag, and all that good stuff. And it um, uh, shows even more pictures of this debauchery that's going on. And then you find out that um, there's key things about those Polaroids and those three men, three gentlemen that are after them. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, at one point, they, towards the end, uh, final act... Um, <clears throat> They've been escaping from the trio. Uh, they go through this cave, which was, there's only one, two way, or I think there's one way in and one way out, something like that. Um, it's just a straight, narrow uh, line. But as they're going through there, they're feeling like they're going in circles and keep coming across the same different things, or the same things as, as they go on. So they... They realize like something is not right, um, uh, especially dealing with a uh, mural on the wall that happens to be of a male member, um, <laughs> uh, which is funny. Um, but uh, uh, our our boyfriend Vinny, he at one point um, what has his final show to showdown with the leader of the three men that um, have been going after them. Um, I love Vinny in this. I think he's cool, you know. He cracks me up. Um, he start when he starts fighting this guy, he uh he um does wrestling maneuvers, which is kind of funny. He throws him in the figure four, he does a he does the the uh, the schoolboy roll up, um he 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 even gets body slammed at one point. Um, so it's, it's kind of funny, uh, you know, I really dug that part, it gave it a little extra oomph, um, but now that's en enough of what I'm going to give away for as far as the movie goes, I want you guys to watch this one as usual, um, we're going to move on to the three things that I love my movies to me, first, first thing is audio, the audio is very good in this, um, it doesn't have any problems with, uh, coming across uh, like uh, staticky or any kind of interference where it's hard to hear or understand your characters. I feel like it is done very well. It's very crisp, cool, and clean as I like to say. Um, so I'm going to give it an A on that end. Uh, second thing is dialogue. Dialogue is very fun in this. Um, it's, it's still very, very modern. Um, it's only three years old. Um, so it's, it's got a lot, uh, of hip, hip, uh, um, type of lingo going on. So, um, I really enjoyed that. So it's, it's still very, very new in, in, in my eyes and well, in my ears and when I hear the, uh, the dialogue. So I'm going to give it another A on that aspect. And then the third thing, which I feel like is the actual bread and butter where, where the best part of this film lies, which is the editing. The editing is done very good. Um, there's It's cut at the right places, I feel like. It doesn't linger on any shots. There's no continuity errors due to editing. Um, there's just all kinds of things that that just um with the editing that worked very very smooth and fluid and i really liked that it has a very nice steady full forward momentum and it keeps a nice pace um it never loses where it's going um but it does uh, keep you constantly guessing what's going to happen so i'm going to give you another a on that 
And then I go on to a final score of one through five. I know I, I, I uh, score a lot of stuff, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. But the one through five, it's not a five, it's not a three, it's more like a four. Um, it could be um, a little bit better to get that 4.5. Um, to get a five, it's very hard to get a five for me. I've only given out, I think, like three or four in the last four years. Um, so it's it's very hard to get that for me. But um, uh, I feel like this is a 4.0 material. It's above, above average. Um, uh, I think this is a fun one that you guys might like, especially coming into the summer months. Um, it's because it's a, a, a warm weather type of movie uh, because they're camping and all that kind of jazz. All right, guys, I love your faces. I can't wait to see you on Monday with yet another review. As always, peace out.